what an absolute weird day for Marvel, right? Specifically Spider-Man. You know, we woke up this morning to find out that Spider-Man's still in the MCU. Sony finally caved. They came back to the table. They made a good deal. And I just want to make it abundantly clear. I do feel that that has everything to do with uh, Amy Pascal. I think she, who has been like pretty silent on the issue for a few months, or at least the last month, uh, has finally been able to make the deal work. And it's everything Disney ultimately wanted, the 75-25 split with the co-financing deal. So everybody wins. But now we're getting some interesting and some very odd conflicting reports. And that's that's really what I want to talk about here. So what we have is a situation uh, right out the gate where apparently Marvel is reportedly getting ready to write Spider-Man out of the MCU. And that is countered with this, that apparently Marvel uh, and Sony films may share more than just Spider-Man. So it's like, OK, well, we've got two reports here, one saying Spider-Man's going to be out, one saying more than Spider-Man's going to be in. And I don't know what to believe. Uh, so let's just run through and see what both are saying. So uh, Marvel may be planning to wrap up the Spider-Man storyline in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as part of the most recent agreement between Disney and Sony. Even though the latter owns the rights to the web slinger, Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige have been helping craft the character on the big screen for the past four years. Tom Holland was cast at an age appropriate or as an age appropriate high schooler and immediately debuted in Captain America Civil War. He since had two solo films, and we know all about that. Okay. So, uh, through it all, Spider-Man became a key piece of the MCU, especially with Tony Stark's arc. Uh, after a month of reports of Spider-Man no longer being in the MCU, Disney and Sony have agreed to keep uh, to, to a new deal to keep him in for a third solo film and another team-up movie. The details of this are under wraps, but Feige indicated that Spider-Man could still cross over into other universes like the one Sony is creating on their own. And I've talked about that when I talked about that. I said, in my mind, what that means ultimately is that they are planning on merging everything together uh, at some junction. It just seems to make the most sense. Eventually, all these properties are going to go back to Marvel to begin with. Um, and uh, again, that's just because if anyone comes in to buy Sony then uh, then all those rights go back to, uh, to, 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 to Marvel. The current thing with that is, uh, is actually Apple, uh, but Apple is currently getting, this is just an article that dropped today as well, uh, is actually getting into working with A24, which is a smaller independent distributor, and they're not making the big leap to buy Sony, so that could be out, which means then the key player in that front will in fact be Amazon, so it's something there to consider. So anyway, uh, so expanding on the details of the latest agreement, um, the Hollywood Reporter shared the significant piece of information about his future. They've shared, while well, some believe the deal could be extended again, others think that this could be part of Spider-Man's actual MCU exit. There is reportedly a sense from some that Feige seems to be plotting an endgame that will wrap up Peter Parker's story, Peter Parker's story in the MCU. This would give Sony full control of the character once more until Sony eventually sells. I just think that's going to happen. Um, the, they, 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 they just, you know, they just keep losing money. Um, I don't see. Anyway. Uh, so there's that. So that's one side of it, right? So so uh, Spider-Man exiting the MCU potentially, and I think I think there's both that are going out there. I think I really do. I think I think Feige. Well, I'm gonna talk about that. Let me let me go to this next bit here. So according to Superhero Hype, which is pulling from a Deadline article, so we got the Hollywood Reporter saying one thing and Deadline saying another, which is something very much to consider here because that is two major outlets, each with their own connections are going to be reporting conflicting information. So it's very wild and super crazy. Uh, now, it says after a few wild weeks that uh, saw Spider-Man expelled from the MCU over a dispute between Sony and Marvel, uh, the web slinger is back where he belongs. Very true. Now, according to Deadline, there may be a shared detailed universe that connects the MCU films with Sony Spider-Man adjacent films like Venom 2 and The Sinister Six. The report describes it as a call and answer between two franchises as they acknowledge the details between the two. It may not be the tight continuity of the MCU, but it would potentially allow for greater interaction between these two Marvel franchises. And I think at the end of the day, that's just what fans want, right? That's just literally what fans want. Give them that. Now, Feige seemed to allude to this when he says Spider-Man is a powerful icon and hero whose story crosses all ages and audiences around the globe. He also happens to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universes. So as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. So again, again, the deal that we heard about originally, right? The deal that we heard about originally was that uh, Marvel wanted to do the co-financing, right? And again, it says here under the new terms, 
uh, Disney Marvel will put up 25% of the budget and get 25% of the, pro uh, the profits. And that's exactly what Disney wanted right off the bat. I have to keep reiterating this because for some reason people keep not bringing it up in their commentary and then commenters come here and commenters are like, you're wrong. And I'm like, I'm not wrong. I've been saying the same damn thing now for a while. It's not my fault. You listen to the wrong people. I'm just, I'm going to say, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to say it. Um, now the reason why they wanted that was because they also had, uh, talked about the potential of opening it up to other Sony owned Marvel characters, right. In order to kind of, you know, make this two universe thing a reality. And that's basically what's happening here. So the fascinating aspect of that is that you've got, uh, Marvel and, and this is Pascal, by the way, this is all Pascal sitting there going like, well, what if we ran parallel to one another and just gently touched Gently touched. So kind of like the Marvel uh, Netflix shows and the MCU or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the MCU. It ran parallel, right? They were they were in the universe. We know that they were in the universe, but they never really touched. And it was always this big, gigantic tease, right? It was this huge tease that you really wanted to see cross over. And that could be ultimately what it is. And I think that's probably the more likely response to it or the more likely setup for it. And the reason why I say that has everything to do with the fact that um, Marvel has already done it. Fans are kind of already used to it. And so I think that might be the, what they're thinking is best course of action for right now until they are able to fully reacquire those characters and then fold all of that back into the MCU. Now, if the rumors are true about Kevin Feige kind of like low key producing Venom, Right. Because it did have a bit of an MCU vibe to it. You know, it had a bit of a feel to it. Like it was someone there's a reason why Venom turned out as good as it did. And it wasn't because Avi Arad was involved, you know, or it wasn't because Amy Pascal was involved. We know what their talent is. We know where their talent lies or really doesn't. But it kind of felt like there was something there that worked a bit more. And potentially that could have been the Feige touch. So if Feige is still going to be low key kind of producing, like consulting producer uh, uh, in these films, then that would allow it to jump over a bit more to get real close. You know what I mean? Get real close to the edge and make sure that they're only just lightly touching noses. And I think fans would be OK with that for the time being. We may never get the team up that we want, like Spider-Man and and uh, and like Wolverine, Wolverine or something, or maybe even like Blade and Morbius. That may not happen. Right. But that would be pretty cool if it did. If Morbius turns out to be OK, that'd be pretty cool. Right? They could find a way to make that work. Um, and I think it's in their best interest to find a way to make it work. If Disney's going to pony up the money, it's in Sony's best interest to take it. Right. If they're going to pony up 25 percent, it's in Sony's best interest to take it because a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And if they can make these movies work and they can expand the universe out that direction and make it actually profitable, Sony's going to make untold billions of dollars. Right. They could make untold billions of dollars if they play game or if they play ball. And and I think that's what a lot of people out there like my friend Andy's ignore isn't quite getting because he was saying that, like, Sony doesn't need to do this. Like, no, Sony does need to do this. They have a horrible track record with, with running franchises. Uh, they ran Spider-Man into the ground twice before. They are looking to do it again if they're not if they're Madam Web. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Madam Web was a cry for help, for Christ's sake. That was a cry for help. You know, like, we don't know what we're doing. We we think people want to see a, a, a Madam Web movie unless it ties into the Spider-Verse. And then you're going to be opening that up to be this bigger world than potentially. But at the same time, unless it's tied to the greater MCU, I don't think people are really going to care. Give us a, Sp a Spider-Gwen. Give us some Miles Morales. Uh, you know, I'm cool with that. Like, I just rewatched Into the Spider-Verse today. And God, that movie was so good. Do more of those and be happy. But when it comes to the live action stuff, man, let Marvel take over. I think you're gonna be better off. So I don't think they're going to write him out of the MCU. I think it's going to be like Captain America Civil War and the Captain America Civil War. When it was being plotted, it was it had a couple different things. It had was Robert Downey Jr. in it or wasn't he in it? And they had scripts kind of going both ways, depending on whether or not uh, they could get the funding, the 40 million dollars in order to get Robert Downey Jr. in the movie, which is what it cost him to get Robert Downey Jr in civil war. So there was that. And then it was the, will they, won't they on Spider-Man? So they were running, they were writing scripts that had Spider-Man in it. They had a scripts that didn't have Spider-Man in it. And it was a lot of back and forth until they locked down all the deals. Uh, as I said, Feige has the Feige touch. It's everything seems to turn to gold. This just seems to be like clearly what they're working on. And I think it's, I think Amy Pascal is going to have to beat that into the heads of Sony. Like, look, do you want money or don't you want money? Do we want to be in the same situation again in five years or don't we, if we don't want to be there again in five years, then let's take the olive branch and let's make the deal work. Because again, 
It's leaving money on the table in hopes it's a gamble and you're going to lose and everyone knows they're going to lose and everyone knows exactly what's going to happen because we've already watched it happen. Sony's going to Sony and Sony never learns. And I think that's where things are. So I want to hear your thoughts on this one. Let me know down in the comments below. Again, wild day for Marvel News. Wild day for everything going on with Spider-Man. There's still more coming, apparently. There's another big Tom Holland hot scoop apparently coming out later on today. Uh, you've got, I mean, the Joker premiere. Uh, journalists are banned from that. I mean, today is a wild news day. So I really want to hear your thoughts and hear your opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys made it this far, do me a solid. Type in uh, MCU in the chat so I know. And uh, like the video, subscribe, all that jazz. Have yourself a great day, guys, and peace out.